Our method of the year for 2011 is genome editing with engineered nucleases. This is a technology that lets researchers pick just about any spot in the genome in many species and put in exactly the change that they want. It's a powerful way to control the function of genes. In the clinic, researchers are looking into using gene editing nucleases as therapies. Uh, for example, blood cells are taken from patients with HIV and then mixed with nucleases that are designed to snip out the protein in blood cells that lets the virus in. It's too early to know if that's going to help patients, but it is fair to say that scientists are really excited about those possibilities. Gene editing nucleases have two parts. One part binds the DNA, and researchers can design that to recognize just about any sequence they want. The other part, the nuclease, works like scissors. That cuts the DNA and makes what's known as a double-strand break. Once the DNA is cut, the cell has to repair it. That repair process either deletes the gene where you cut it or if you put in new DNA with the sequence you want, then that new DNA is incorporated into the genome. Right now, there are two types of engineered nucleases. One type is called zinc finger nucleases, and the other type is called TALENS, T-A-L-E-N-S, transcription activator-like effector nucleases, TALENS. Scientists figured out how zinc finger proteins grab onto DNA in the early 1990s, and then they got the idea of attaching them to the DNA cutting proteins. But the way that zinc fingers interact with DNA and with each other is complicated. Each finger interacts with about three nucleotides, and if you don't get all the interactions just right, the zinc finger nuclease doesn't bind very well, so these engineered nucleases can be difficult to make. Just a couple years ago, researchers have found out that there are proteins that have a new way of binding to DNA. These are called the tal effectors, and they come from bacteria that infect plants, like rice and bell, pe bell peppers. And the, when you attach these tal effectors to nucleases, they're called talons. The way that tal effectors bind DNA is that one binding subunit uh, contacts one nucleotide, and the subunits don't seem to interfere with each other at all, so they could be a lot simpler to make. Engineered nucleases let researchers put the changes in exactly where they want them, even inside ex existing genes. And there's still some improvements that need to be made. It's not always possible to get the exact change that you want, and sometimes the nucleases can be hard to make. But scientists are already using them, and they're excited about all the new experiments that they can do.